Hi everybody, it's me, Busy! And I'm Buzz, and today we have a very special guest, Mickey! Hello everybody. And Mickey comes from a wild life! <laughs> Mickey, what did you bring us today? So today I have Bart, and Bart is an African pygmy hedgehog. So he's not actually a wild animal, I and mean, he, he was at one time in his ancestry, but people started breeding them as pets, and now we have a smaller African pygmy hedgehog. Wow, you're a pygmy. Oh, what was that? Did you see that? What happened? So when a hedgehog is scared or maybe excited or doesn't know what's around them, they're gonna try to protect themselves by rolling up into a ball. So that little motion that you saw was actually these muscles in his forehead, which can move the spines on his head. And he can cover his face if he needs to protect that. And then he can ultimately roll into a complete ball. And yes, that little snort, it can even scare predators like it kind of startled you. Every time I startle her, she snorts too. Oh, that is so awesome. Mickey, what else did you bring for us today? Whoa, it's like a pretty rat. <gasps> That's a very good observation because this is actually a relative of a rat. This is. Inca, and she is a chinchilla. Whoa, and that's so fun to say. Chinchilla. Chinchilla, chinchilla, chinchilla. Chinchilla, chinchilla, chinchilla. Chinchilla, chinchilla, chinchilla. Check that out. It's a long, fuzzy tail, just like a squirrel. Where do they usually live when they're out in the wild? So these animals are found in South America, usually the Andes Mountains. So they're up in a very dry environment. It's pretty cold, and that's why they have a lot of fur. So they actually have 30 times the amount of hair that we do. So if you think about every little hair that's coming out of your head, there'd be 30 more there. But you said they can't get wet. Yes, so they actually have so much hair that theoretically, if they were to get, say, soaked, or if there's water down on the bottom of their fur, it might not ever have a chance to evaporate because their hair is so thick, it just traps the water inside. And that's why chinchillas take dust baths. They roll around in dirt or dust, and that will hopefully absorb all the nasty germs and bacteria on their body. How come chinchillas' ears are so big? Well, what are ears good for? What? What? What are ears good for? What? Obviously, you guys don't have the best set of ears because chinchillas can hear very well. And that's a good trait because there's a lot of things that are trying to chase them. So if they can hear them coming first, they can run away from them. That's always the best thing. When there's trouble, run away. And with this long tail, you noticed it, it can actually hide their footprints while they're running. So they'll swipe their tail left and right and it'll brush away all their footprints. We hope you guys have learned a lot about Inca, the chinchilla. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.